This is Richard Allen at the University of Iowa. This video demonstrates repair of a deep medial canthal defect which straddles the medial canthal tendon with a combination mustardae and glabellar flap. The patient has status post excision of a basal cell carcinoma which has resulted in an upper and lower canalicular defect. The canalicular defects are examined and a Crawford stent is placed through the lacrimal system and retrieved from the nose. A 4-0 vicral suture will then be used to recreate the canthal angle by engaging the periosteum of the posterior lacrimal crest followed by the medial portion of the defect along the eyelid. This is performed for both the upper and lower eyelid and the canaliculus is repaired over the stent with interrupted 7-0 vicral sutures. This results in repair of the upper and lower canalicular defect with the stent in good position. The glabellar flap is then developed. The 15 blade is used to make an incision along the marking. This flap will cover the thicker skin of the defect. Dissection is performed in the plane beneath the subcutaneous fat. The flap is then transposed into position. The donor site is closed with deep interrupted 4-0 vicral sutures. A deep bite is placed to secure the flap into the bed of the defect. The flap is then trimmed to respect the different skin types and a 5-0 proline suture is used to close the skin of the donor site. These sutures are placed in a vertical mattress fashion. The remaining portion of the flap is sutured with interrupted 6 proline sutures. A subsural incision is then made with the monopolar cautery extending from the defect medially to the lateral canthus laterally. Lateral to the lateral canthus, the incision is continued in a superior and lateral direction. Dissection is then carried out between the orbicularis muscle and the orbital septum. Lateral to the lateral orbital rim, dissection is carried out in a plane just beneath the subcutaneous fat. Rotation of the flap shows that it is adequate to close the defect. This is placed into position with deep, interrupted 5-0 vicral sutures. The subcellular incision is then closed with a running 5-0 fast absorbing suture. The lateral portion of the flap is closed with deep, interrupted 5-0 vicral sutures to support the flap laterally, followed by interrupted 6-0 proline sutures. The gabellar flap is then sutured to the mustardi flap with interrupted 5-0 fast absorbing sutures. At the conclusion of the case, the defect is closed with minimal tension with the lid in good position and the skin types respected. The patient returns in one week for suture removal.